Hey friends, it's Miss Nicole with Moon Township Public Library, and today our preschool story time is going to be Hibernation Station. Do you guys know what hibernation is? Go ahead and pause me down below if you want to explain to your adult what hibernation is. If you don't know what hibernation is, it is the process in which specific animals, most commonly bears, rest during the winter months. They eat a bunch, they store up a bunch of food, right? And then they get some fat on their bodies so that they can rest for the entire winter or most of the winter, right? Until it's safe to go back outside again, right? Because sometimes when it's super cold out, even we don't want to go outside, right? Because then we got to get all bundled up. We got to put our hats on, our mittens on, our boots on, especially if there's like a ton of snow. That's super fun sometimes. But occasionally we wake up and we're like, mm, I don't know if I want to go into the cold today, right? Or when mom rips off your nice warm blanket and says, get up, you got to go to school or get up. We got to go to the grocery store, right? Or get up. You got to do your schoolwork, right? And then you're super cold and you're like, mom, my blanket. It's kind of like that. Bears don't want to go out into the cold, so they hibernate. It keeps them nice and safe. So we're actually going to start with a story called Hibernation Station, and this is by Michelle Meadows, and it's illustrated by Kurt Cyrus. Here we go, kiddos. Fuzzy slippers, warm pajamas, forest babies, and their mamas. Show up early at the station. Time for winter hibernation. Who's that? That's Bear, right? And I think this is Beaver, maybe? And we've got some squirrels. They're my favorite. And who's this friend right over here? Can you guys name that animal? Bats and chipmunks in the middle. Bears and mice from big to little. Groundhogs, turtles, snakes, and frogs slipping into holes and logs. Fluff the pillows, snuggle in. But then... Commotion in a den. I cannot sleep, a black bear roars. My roommate rolls around and snores. A groundhog cries, this hole's too tight. It's dark in here, I need more light. Then, uh-oh, trouble near the stream. Who's that? What's going on? That beautiful rainbow right there. The hedgehog ba babies start to scream. Just when the beds begin to sink, two chipmunks cry, we spilled a drink. And while you're up, we need more snacks and bring more pillows for our backs. Just then a frog begins to moan. I'm scared to be down here alone. The bears in charge in railroad caps review the hibernation maps. Come on, black bear, bring your shoes. Here's a quiet place to snooze. Come on, hedgehogs, warm and dry. Let's huddle for a lullaby. Look at all that beautiful snow. Come on, chipmunks, sip, 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 nibble, nibble, drip, drip, drip. Blankets, pillows, extra snug. Come on, frog, you need a hug. Who's their frog friend? Do you see him? I see him. There he is. Climb on top and join the heap. Soon, everyone is fast asleep. 
50. And look at all that beautiful snow everywhere. And at the very back of the book, it says, author's note. That's who wrote the book, the author. Hibernation is a fascinating way that some animals are able to survive during winter when food becomes scarce. It gets cold, right? And their food isn't available. Hibernation is commonly defined as a sleep-like state. So to prepare for hibernation, some animals store food when they awaken, while others build up enough body fat so that they are able to sleep all winter. Some scientists say that there are varying degrees of hibernation. For example, true hibernators experience a dramatic drop in body temperature, heart rate, and breathing. These animals, sometimes, sometimes called deep sleepers, are hard to wake up in winter. Examples are bats and groundhogs. Other animals, known as light sleepers, are easier to wake up, like raccoons and skunks. While not considered true hibernators, they get sluggish in the winter and they often curl up in groups to sleep. Sluggish just means they get slow in the winter time, right? They don't want to move quite as fast. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that story and that little lesson on hibernation. We're going to go ahead and move on to one of my favorite authors. I love her books. Her name is Karma Wilson. And then this story was written with Jane, Ch Jane Chapman as well. And this is called Bear Snores On. I know you guys are probably pretty familiar with the Bear series. I absolutely love them. I think they're excellent. And uh, Bear is snoring. Just like it's time for hibernation, right? Yeah. So here we go. And feel free to rhyme along with me because these... These books have a nice rhythm and a nice rhyme, and you'll see a repeating phrase as we go along. So once you catch it, go ahead and say it along with me. In a cave in the woods in his deep dark lair through the long cold winter sleeps a great brown bear. Cuddled in a heap with his eyes shut tight, he sleeps through the day, he sleeps through the night. The cold winds howl and the night sounds growl, but the bear snores on. An itty bitty mouse, pitter pat tiptoe, creep crawls in the cave from the fluff cold snow. There's our mouse. Mouse squeaks too damp, too dank, too dark, so he lights wee twigs with a small hot spark. The coals pip pop and the wind doesn't stop, but the bear snores on. Two glowing eyes sneak peek in the den. Mouse cries, who's there? And a hare pops in. Oh, mouse says hare, long time no see. So they pop white corn and they brew black tea. A hare is just like a rabbit, right? Everybody go ahead and give yourself some bunny ears. We'll call them hare ears today. Mouse sips, wee slurps, hare burps, big burps. But the bear snores on. A badger scuttles by, sniffs, snuffs at the air. I smell yummy yums, perhaps we can share. I've brought honey nuts, Badger says with a grin. Let's divvy them up, cozy down, and dig in. Divvy up means to divide them, to share them, right? And they nibble and they munch with a chew chomp crunch. But what's the bear doing? But the bear snores on through all those yummy snacks. A gopher in a mole tunnel up through the floor when a wren and a raven flutter in through the door. Mole mutters, what a night, what a storm, twitters wren, and everybody clutters in the great bear's den. So there's raven, and there's wren. They're two birds. Raven's a big black bird, and a wren is a little brown bird. 
They tweet and they titter, they chat and they chitter, but the bear snores on. In a cave in the woods, a slumbering bear sleeps through the party in his very own lair. Hair stokes the fire, mouse seasons stew, then a small pepper fleck makes the bear a choo! He blows and he sneezes and the whole crowd freezes. And the bear wakes up. Bear gnarls and he snarls, bear roars and he rumbles, bear jumps and he stomps, bear growls and he grumbles. He doesn't look too happy, huh? You've snuck in my lair and you've all had fun, but me, I was sleeping and I've had none. And he whimpers and he moans, he wails and he groans, and the bear blubbers on. Mouse squeaks, don't fret, don't fuss, look, see, we can pop more corn, we can brew more tea. Bear gulps, bear gobbles, he sighs with delight, then he spins tall tails through the blustery night. When the sun peeks up on a crisp, clear dawn, bear can't sleep. But his friends snore on. Look how cozy they all look cuddled up to bear. I think that's such a fun story. I love the rhyming. I love the repetition. I love seeing all of the animals in the forest and what they do in Bear's lair. I think that's kind of fun. I would love to see some animals making stew personally. I think that would be pretty awesome, huh? All right. So, I hope you guys enjoyed those stories. I know I did. We're actually going to go ahead and read one more. And this story is called Good Night Already! by Jory John and Benji Davies. And there's another bear, right? They're the animal that we know of most commonly that hibernates, right? When I think of hibernation, I think of bears. I've never been so tired. I could sleep for weeks, months even. I've never been so awake. I wonder what old bear's up to, said Duck. Can't wait to sleep. Here we go. Yes, thought the bear. Bear, it's me, Duck. Open up. Come on, buddy. What is it, Duck? I was fast asleep. Hey, I'm bored. Want to hang out? said the Duck. Want to play cards? Nope. Watch a movie? No. Start a band? Nope. Make smoothies? Nope. Talk all night? No. Play cards? You already said that. Read books to each other? No. Bear doesn't want to do anything. Fine. Good night already. Whatever. Ah, <sighs> bed. Yes, thought the bear. Almost asleep. And then who's that? None other but Duck. Psst, bear, it's Duck from next door. What? said Bear. I want to make cookies. Can I borrow some sugar? Nope. Butter? Nope. Dough? Nope. Salt? No. Butter? You already said that. Can I just borrow some cookies then? No. Good night already, said Bear. That duck, always bothering me. I need to get some new neighbors. Later, though, too tired. Must sleep. Uh-oh. What do you think our friend duck wants now? No! Ah! Said Bear. How on earth? I used my spare key, said duck. That was for emergency, said Bear. This is an emergency, said Duck. What? What is it, Duck? What's the emergency? I stubbed my beak. See? See his little band-aid on there? Duck, you've got to stop waking me up. 
out now, said Bear. But, said Duck, I said good night already, said Bear. Geez, Bear is so grouchy. His bad attitude is making me tired, said Duck. Once upon a time, there was a... There was a... What happened to Duck? Did he fall asleep? I think he did. And there's Bear. I've never been so awake, said Bear. So it's kind of like Bear was so tired and he needed to hibernate, right? And then as soon as Duck falls asleep, Bear wakes up from his hibernation, huh? I thought that was a super fun, silly story. Alright guys, so now that we've learned a little bit about hibernation and how animals uh, go into that sleepy kind of state, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something fun, or at least had a silly time with me, and we'll see you next time. I hope you have a great day. Thanks, guys.